Well, hello, friends of the internet. I am leaving the office. Just clocked out, and I am going to the post office today. Yes, it's happening. Um, okay, so something I didn't tell you yet is that I got my medical insurance denial, which I was fully expecting to get because um, my insurance does not cover the ruin why the gastric bypass um, surgery that I need to have to fix my hernia. Anyways, so now I have to send, hold on, I can show you where I'm sending it, I'm not gonna show you my address, but um, yeah, so I have to send it to this appeals unit uh, or appeals place, but I want to get it like a certified letter, you know, like the one that gives you like a signature or whatever to just like make sure they got it. So I did all of that last night and got that ready to go. I have my Erin Condren box for my giveaway winner. I also have stuff in the car, like a huge bag of things. So if I have promised something to you in the last like two months, it's coming. It's coming today. <laughs> well, it's not coming today. It's, it's coming soon. So anyway, Doyle thinks he's leaving. He is not leaving. Um, so yeah, but let's go to the post office and get this thing done. <coughs> Hello, here's the box. Bah. Okay, let's go. All right, Joel, stay here. Okay, we got my car started and we're good to go. And I heard from some of my coworkers that Gas is like really inexpensive right now. So let's check that out. I mean, I don't need any gas, but I'll be going by a gas station. So anyways, um, here is, hold on. Those are all the other things that I've promised people that have been sitting in my car. So yeah, I'm sending out a lot of packages today, y'all. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, task has been accomplished. Um, I'm outside of the post office right now, and my bag is empty, yay! <laughs> it's like such a good feeling to have an empty bag. So, yes, again, if you were expecting something from me in the last uh, couple of months, I do apologize, um, but now I've got time, and I'm kind of afraid that the post office, and this is not misinformation, this is my own like in my brain, is that at some point they're not gonna have like the windows open at, like a regular post office. Like that's just in my brain that hasn't been said. Like it's, you know, I'm just fearful that that may happen. And my local post office does not have any of the like self-serve electronic things. It's all just like people. So I just wanted to get that done. So let's, let's go home everybody. Um. Yeah, oh, and I did look at, uh, there was a gas station on the way here. It was $1.99 a gallon. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I haven't seen that in like the longest time. So, yeah, but um, oh, it's just, it still feels really weird out for sure. There was a gal that um, held the door open for me because I had that big bag and then a box and all of that. Um, as she was leaving, she held the door um, and I kind of like scooched by her, uh, you know, like just trying to not be as close or whatever. And I, like, as I was walking up, I was like, oh, thank you so much for holding the door. And she's like, oh, no problem. And then as I walked in, she's like, well, you have a good day, stay safe. And I said, yeah, you too. It's like, that's so weird that that's like, like the norm to say right now is like, hey, everybody stay safe. Like, oof. it just, it feels weird. Um, and I'm still kind of like driving through town right now and there should be a lot more people on the road and there is not, which is actually a good thing um, because ho hopefully most of these people are going like to and from like essential errands um, or, uh, you know, going to work and things like that. But there's just not a lot of cars out, which is probably a really good thing. Yeah. Oh man, so yeah, but I'm almost home. I don't live that far away from the post office. Um, and I am going to, 
get back to work and you know just work for the day because that's that's all I can do at this point is just work for the day um, I've got a lot of stuff to do um, at work which is good so yeah and then I still have had no word on when we're going back um, I talked to my boss yesterday I don't know if I said this in the vlog yesterday um, but I talked to him and basically we're all working from home until we hear otherwise so I mean I don't I don't know we'll we'll see so that means if we don't hear anything on Friday which is only Tuesday but if we don't hear anything on Friday then we're gonna work from home the next week or days or whatever it is so yeah but okay well I'm almost home so I am going to see you guys in a little bit bye <laughs> I'm talking to Ryan. <laughs> We're social distancing. We are so, so social distancing. <laughs> it's a big social distance. It's like what, like 40, 50 miles, something like yeah. that. Yeah, it's, it's like forty miles. I think we're, I think we're good. <laughs> I think so. So we're just having a conversation. It was Ryan's birthday yesterday. I'm gonna put up in the corner here his uh, channel. You should go watch him. Um, we were just talking about how he should start channeling and vlogging and doing youtube -y things again, but, you know, he's busy at work. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. I should have liked my man. But I mean, we all do with this whole shenanigan that's taking place. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, do you have any advice for, uh, people social distancing at this point of how to not yeah. go bat shit? Or, like... I think for me, one of the things that's helpful is I, like, cycle through relatives to call. So, like, get the grandparents, get my aunts, my uncles. Um, Emily, you also froze right now in, like, the best kind of picture. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's so good. Um, but then I think, like, really just think about um, what you really need to do if you need to leave the house. Like, really think about your decision before you leave. Um, are there other options that you can do that minimize your risk of exposure? Because I think that's something that we all kind of, oh, well, it won't be me that gets it. Uh, it might be. It might be. Um, that's another thing. I think the other thing that I always like to think of is um, there are so many places in your community that you can help out and give back even from home. So I know that we've done some donations for PPE, the protective masks and stuff, and people have come out in droves to support the community and the local healthcare system because I don't know how prepared we all are for this, but the people that need it most are the ones that we need to try and do our best to support. So whether it's like a drive like that or there are some canned goods or something, you can help with the local food shelf because as we're being hit by all the like, other impacts, like job loss and those types of things. Like we want to make sure we're supporting everybody. So that's my little uh, like PSA as a government worker. I love your PSA. Aw, <laughs> that's awesome. I like it. <clears throat> kudos, kudos. Yeah, Ryan and I just talked about like, you know, leaving the house and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I've had to leave, but I'm trying not to, but it's hard. And just only going out for the essentials, like, you know, food and, uh, medication and things like that, you know, that you have to go out yes. for. Um, on a brighter note, the gas prices are down. Noticed that today when I went out. So yeah. I was like, oh, I don't need gas, but uh, it's good to know. Good to know. Right. It's helpful. And apparently in most states, even if we go into a shelter in place, liquor stores are still considered an essential service. So if you need to get yourself some booze. Ooh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> At least New York made it an essential service. <laughs> well, we're all getting some from New York. <laughs> like, can you post made it from <laughs> right. New York? Or, like, how does that Maybe work? Out there, because I think that's like the epicenter for the whole thing. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Can you clean the bottle off first? Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh goodness. All right. Well, Ryan and I are going to get back to our our conversation. <laughs> yeah. Ryan and I are going to get back to our conversation. But good to see you on the vlog, sir. Bye, internet. <laughs> Oh, hello, Internet. Um, I am going to say goodbye here. I haven't picked up the vlog since I was FaceTiming with Mr. Ryan. I had some dinner, watched a little TV, and it's after 9, so it's like way past my bedtime, y'all. But I'm going to get this footage into my computer and maybe edit just a little bit tonight 
and uh, have this up for you guys sometime tomorrow. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye guys. Yo folks, it's time to kick it old school.